You know what's really good for breakfast? Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate seems good for breakfast. Hallelujah. Hello, London. Hello, Cincinnati. Hello, Sarah, South Africa. Good morning, Pakistan. Good to see you. I'll send you some files, Sabita, for transcription. Boy, do I have some prophetic words that need to be transcribed. Good morning, Awakening Blaze. Hello, Sweden. Dallas. Harrisburg. Pretoria, South Africa. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello, sunrise. Come over to the Awakening House of Prayer on Sunday at 1.30. I guarantee you it's going to be radical. Canada, good morning. I'll be with you. Saskatoon next week. Good morning, Balamina. Hello, Nebraska. Hello, Jackie. God is good. We're going to start in less than one minute. Share this with your friends. Invite your followers. Hello, David in San Francisco. It's early for you, brother. Good morning, Turkey. Good morning, first-timers. Yes, you are the only one with no sound. We are hungry. We are hungry. Misty Edwards is singing. We are hungry Serenading the Lord. We are thirsty. Oh, Jesus. Hello, Philippines. We are Montreal. Hello, Anita. Good morning, John Broderick. God is good. Let's get started. Invite your friends. Share this with your followers. They're not going to want to miss this one. You're not going to want to miss this one. I'm glad you're awake. All right, all right, all right. Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here, author of our devotional mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still small voice of God, senior leader of the Awakening House of Prayer in South Florida and founder of the Ignite Network. God is good. He uh, intends to see souls saved and equipped for his glory. Amen. Today's devotion titled Combat Pressure with God's Peace. Combat Pressure with God's Peace. And here's what I heard the Lord say. Pressure will come. The world brings demonic pressure that seeks to overwhelm your soul. I want to teach you how to recognize this strategy and resist moving in the negative emotions it produces. Pressure may come from people. Pressure may come from circumstances. Pressure will come from spiritual forces. Don't receive it. Resist it. Rise above it. Walk instead in the grace and peace that resides in your spirit. Yes, combat pressure from the world and from the enemy with the peace of Christ that passes all understanding. It will guard your heart and soul. 
Praise God. That's a good word. Don't receive the pressure. Don't receive the pressure. Resist the pressure. We need to do some radical resisting. See, here's the thing we touched on this earlier this week about the pressure, the pressurized ones. We need to resist the demonic pressure. We, you know what we need to do? We need to learn how to say no. It's easy. You just say no. It's just real easy. It's one of the first learns babies learn. It's one of the first words babies learn is no, 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 no. We need to learn how to say no, praise God. The pressure. We must be radical resistors of demonic pressure. Oh, Jesus, don't get me started. Today's uh, scripture reference is Proverbs 24, verse 10, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, and James chapter 4 verse 7. And the prayer starter for today, teach me please, teach me how to avoid the feeling of being overwhelmed and to embrace your peace in the midst of the pressure. Help me not to cave in under the pressure of people, circumstances, or spiritual enemies that shoot, that shoot and to choose the path of peace. Father, we thank you this morning. Oh, Jesus, we thank you this morning. Oh, it's a radical day, and we are radical followers of a radical Jesus who did a radical thing when he died on the cross. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father, for sending your only begotten son, Jesus, to pay the price for us. Oh, Jesus, that we might be in your presence forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. We glorify that name. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise and honor and glory. There is no other God like you. No one compares to my God. No one compares to Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides all my needs according to his riches in glory. I thank you, Lord, that you're not broke, busted, and disgusted, that you own the cattle on a thousand hills, that you, praise God, own the silver, you own the gold, you own everything, the earth there, uh, the earth there, uh, the earth and the fullness thereof. We thank you, Lord, that you've called us here to be stewards, to stand and occupy until you come to preach your gospel that souls might be saved that our spiritual family might grow a little bigger we're so grateful Lord that you trusted us you've entrusted us you've trusted us and you've entrusted us with your word to rightly divide it to share it with others oh God let us not be slack-handed in preaching the gospel let us not be slow to prophesy the word of the Lord let us not be uh, ones who draw back and shrink back and pull back in the face of adversity Adversity. God, would you help us today to rise up? Oh, radicals rise, radicals, radicals rise, rise, rise. The Lord is calling for the radicals to rise, not to sit down on their hands and complain, but to rise up with the boldness and the fear. Come on. Whoa, Jesus. Earlier this year, the Lord gave me a word fierce fierce. Come on. You are fierce. These are the things they've been building. Come on. They've been building up all year long. You are fierce. We are riding the wind. We are moving and walking and living in mega faith, mega grace, and we're entering into a mega movement. It's going to happen. Oh, Jesus, we're dreaming wild. It's all coming together. We are authorized. I thank you, Lord, that you help us to see ourselves the way that you see us. You don't see us like a worm. You don't see us like grasshoppers in your sight. You don't see us as losers. You don't see us, oh Jesus, but you see us as overcomers. You see us through the blood of Christ. You see us as the, as more than conquerors. And you've called us these things in your word. So Lord, when the pressure comes, oh when the pressure comes, when the pressure rises, we're just going to get a little more radical because the pressure is not going to put out our fire. The pressure is not going to steal our joy. The pressure is not going to cause us to shrink back in fear. Oh, the pressure is going to cause us to rise up higher. Oh, we're rising with the pressure. We're going to reject the demonic pressure, but we're rising with the pressure of God. It's molding us. It's shaping us. It's forming us into the one that you've called us to be. We thank you, Lord, that you love us too much to leave us the way that we are. You saved us. You cleaned us up, and you've changed us from glory to glory. We're moving on from faith to faith to faith. I thank you, Lord. We just praise you. We're just so grateful for you, God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, where would we be without you, Jesus? We'd be on our way to hell for an eternal damnation, but you came to give us life, abundant life to the full until it overflows. So we thank you this morning. 
We thank you this morning. Oh, we thank you this morning. We thank you this morning. I just feel like thanking the Lord. Let's just keep thanking the Lord. Oh, we just got so much to thank him for. Oh, Jesus, let our, let, let, let not rocks praise you. Let our lips praise you. Let's, let the praise that's on our lips delight your heart, God. Let the prayer that is spoken through our mouths delight your heart, God. We know that it does. And we're so grateful. We're so grateful. I just can't get off this Thanksgiving thing. I just can't get off this gratitude thing. I just can't move from this. You just got to forgive me. I'm just following the Holy Ghost. He just wants our gratitude. He just wants us to thank him. Let me tell you something. It's unlocking something. That's why he's doing this. That's why he's got us here. Thanking him. Thanking him. Thanking him. Thanking him. It's unlocking something today. Just keep on praising him. Just keep on thanking him. There is an unlocking going on. I said there is an unlocking going on. Whatever it is you need, unlock. Come on. Whatever it is you need unlocked in your life, just begin to thank him for it. Oh, thank you, Lord, that you unlock finances. We thank you, Lord, that you unlock favor in our lives, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that you unlock revelation. Thank you, Lord, that you unlock prodigals from the prisons that the enemy has trapped them in. Oh, Jesus, thank you, Lord, that you unlock just radical, radical, miraculous healings, not just a little headache, devils, but I mean, I want to see cancer healings unlocked today in the name of the Lord. I want to see, come on, we... We unlock job promotions today. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. So we're going to unlock and then we're going to thank, okay? This is what we're going to do. We're going to unlock and then we're going to thank. We're going to unlock and then we're going to thank. We're going to unlock and then we're going to thank. So we thank you, Lord, for unlocking healing. We unlock it with that Isaiah 22, 22 key. Now, what a, the, 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 there's no, the, 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 it opens the door that no man can open and it shuts the door that no man can shut. So we're going to use this Isaiah 22, 22 key according to your word, the key of David. We thank you, Lord. We unlock healing and we thank you, Lord, for your healing power flowing. Lord, we unlock provision, and we thank you, Lord, that your provision, it flows like a river through our lives, even canceling debt. Praise God. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for it. We unlock the prodigals out of their prisons. Oh, oh, I thank you, Lord, that you break the blinders off the eyes of those who don't know you and those who knew you, but they don't know you anymore because religion hurt them, because church hurt them, because the devil deceived them, and they don't see you rightly. Oh, Lord, we thank you that you unlock them from the prisons in Jesus name oh we unlock we unlock we unlock we unlock we unlock we take authority and we unlock in the name of Jesus we're so grateful we unlock divine alignments right now in Jesus name Lord shows me there's some of you we thank you for unlocking the divine the divine alignments Lord shows me there's some of you and you've been looking for the right alignment you've been looking for the right uh, uh, the I don't want I don't like I don't like the word covering but many of you might use that it's not it's not, I, I like the word alignment better, but you've been looking for that covering. You've been looking for that friend. Some of you have been looking for a mate. You've been looking for a church. You've been looking for that right one to align with, that right place to align with, that right job to align with, that right prophetic word in this season, the rhema word. There you, you've been looking for something to align with. You've been looking, you've been looking. I unlock those alignments right now in Jesus' name. I unlock divine alignments in the name of Jesus. I unlock them. God, I thank you that you're ordering steps even now to the divine alignment. You're ordering steps, ordering steps, ordering steps, ordering steps, ordering steps. And Lord would say to you today, that I am going to make you more sensitive to my spirit as you continue to thank me, as you continue to praise me. This is your key to unlock whatever it is that you need to unlock because I have things for you. There's treasures. They're stored up for you. All you have to do is keep following me and you will walk right up to that open door and you won't even have to use the key when you get there, says God, because you've already unlocked it in the spirit. All you need to do is follow my heart to the door that I've called you to. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I just see so many people standing before open doors. You're standing. Yeah, it's 5778. I know it's the year of the open door, but you're standing before open doors, some of you, and you're scratching your head because you don't know if you're supposed to walk through it. You're wondering and you don't want to make a mistake. You're just concerned. The Lord says, just touch the door and it'll open. Just touch it. You don't even need the key. It's already been unlocked for you. I've already done this thing for you in past seasons. So just thank me. Just thank me. Just thank me. Others of you 
you others of you you've got more than one door in front of you and you're not sure which one you're supposed to walk through and the enemy is trying to confuse you he's trying to get you to walk around in circles and to miss your Kairos time to miss the opportunity to go through the door the Lord says just stay close to me just stay close to me just stay close to me just thank me just praise me because I will blow the right door open and it will be evident and apparent to you because the right doors are already unlocked they're already unlocked they're already unlocked they're already unlocked you've unlocked them even now you've unlocked them you've unlocked them all you have to do is walk toward them walk up to them oh you don't even have to knock anymore oh I thank you Jesus I thank you Lord I thank you Lord we're gonna praise him we're gonna thank him we're gonna praise him we're gonna thank him we're not gonna be confused about which door to walk through as a matter of fact Lord blind our eyes to the to the demonic doors that would try to tempt us don't even make us able to see them give us such a laser focused vision on you and your will God that we would be able to just stay right there in lockstep with you that we would just be able to take one step after another after another after another towards your will that when we get up to the right door we can just almost just see it just kind of trembling I just see that somebody somebody's getting up to a door and you just see it's almost like it, it, it's already a jar it's already it's already partly open it's already a jar and you're just gonna see that little glimmer of light peeking out from the door you're just gonna see that light it's the glory of God some of you are walking through doors of glory oh my goodness praise be to the living God some of you are about to walk through doors of glory you've been praying show me your glory show me your glory show me your glory God show me your glory and you don't even have to not anymore he's going to show you his glory because of the sincerity of your heart you're going to see it it's like a light I just see the light shining from under the door it's it's not that what's behind the door is dark it's what's behind the door is so glorious that it overpowers the light on the outside of the door I said the light behind the door God has called you to walk through the glorious light behind the door that you're about to go through some of you it's lighter it's brighter than the light on the other side of the door so we thank you Lord we thank you Lord we thank I just see doors you know how they have in uh, office buildings and, and, and it has like a placard on the door it says office or it says custodian or it says whatever it says on it executive whatever some of you are going through doors of promotion and your titles about to change I said your titles about to change we unlock promotions right now in the natural and in the spirit in Jesus name I just see it I just see some of you you're just moving up you're getting a new office oh my goodness you're getting a new office you're getting a new office you're getting a new office some of us some of you it's spiritual some of it is it's it is natural I think I unlock promotions I thank you Lord I thank you Lord I thank you Lord. you know what comes with a promotion come on now come on somebody tell me what comes with a promotion oh pray tell oh what comes with a promotion I'm um, just let me just let me just solve the solve the riddle for you it's called increase increase comes with promotion increase comes increase comes increase in favor in come on increase in open doors increase in provision oh yeah let me just let me just I don't, I don't want to burst your bubble but also an increase in warfare praise God and that's all right because you've got the key to win the war too I said you've got the key to win the war I said we have the keys of the kingdom and whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven whatever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven praise God we've got the key to win the war we've got the key to win the war I said we've got the key to win the war come on promotions are coming Paul said there, are, there is a door of opportunity before me and with it many adversaries oh I thank you Jesus for the open doors but we're not going to be uh, 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 unaware we're not going to be ignorant we're not going to be those who don't understand that when opportunity comes when healing comes when promotion comes when provision comes there's a devil roaming around like a roaring lion seeking somebody to devour first Peter 5 and 8 is still true but we have the key to win the war come on we've got the key to win the war I said we've got the key to win the war it's in our hands whatever we bind on earth we bound in heaven I bind the strong man I bind the strong man man that's trying to destroy you I bind that strong man that's hiding behind all kind of little devils you some of you the Lord just showed me some of you th you think you know what you're fighting you need more discernment you think you know what you're fighting but you're fighting the little the little outer demons the little guard demons the by the strong man is behind them the strong man is hiding the strong man is saying you can't see me you can't see me guess what the Lord sees you praise God and we are authorized it's gonna be a radical victory I prophesy radical 
radical victory over you. Radical victory, radical victory, radical victory. Rise, oh radicals, rise. If you'll just rise up, if you'll just rise up, if you'll just rise up, take your sword, take your key, take your armor, take whatever God tells you to take. Take it, take it, take it, because you win. I said a radical, 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 radical victory belongs to you. The door is before you. You're going to know. You're going to know. Father, help us, help us, help us, help us not to be deceived by our flesh, not to be deceived by the voices of other people who want to tell us which door to walk through, but keep us, preserve us, help us to walk through those doors that you have ordained for us. The doors that you have ordained, those doors that you have marked, that you have planned for from the beginning, from the foundation of the earth, a radical victory, a radical victory, a radical victory, a radical victory, a radical victory. It belongs to you. It belongs to you. It belongs to you. It belongs to you. A radical victory. Oh, Jesus, we're so grateful. Hallelujah. Whoa, Jesus. Hallelujah. Whoa, shokotom rashtakata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to the living God. There is no other God like you. So we go back and we thank you and we praise you and we thank you and we praise you. We thank you and we praise you because that whatever we need, whatever you've willed for us, it's already done in the spirit. We've just got to grab hold. We just got to pull it down with our faith. So thank you, Lord, that we can walk in faith. We can move in faith. We can stand in faith. Whatever we do, we're going to do it in faith because whatever is not of faith is sin. So we stand, we move, we live, we have our being in you, in faith, in Christ. We're so grateful. We're so grateful. You have the key to win the war. Come on. You have the key to win the war. Whatever war you're going through, you have the key to win the war. You've got the key. You've got the key. You have the key. God already gave you the key. And he's authorized you to put the key in the lock and turn the lock. Turn the key. See, some of you got the key. The Lord just showed me. Don't get mad at me now. I'm trying to help you. Some of you have a key. You've got the key, you've got the key, and you get up to the door, and you don't turn the key. You've got to turn the key. Put the key in the door and turn the key. Praise God. Faith without works is dead. God's given you the key. You've got to use the key. Praise God. Hallelujah. You've got the key to victory. You've got the key to radical victory. It belongs to you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. You've got the key, a radical key. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. You've got the key. You've got the key. You've got the key. Some keys, some doors are already open for you. They're already open. You just got to find the right door. You just got to stay in tune with God. You just got to walk in the spirit to get there. Other doors, you might need a key. Guess what? God's given you the key. A mega victory. A ra radical. You are going to ride the wind while you dream wild. Because you are authorized for a mega radical victory because you're fierce. That just ties together all the prophetic words of the year we've been praying on. Hallelujah. You win. You win. You win. Praise God. We stand together. We stand together. We remember, we stand together. Our wars are, are collective. We fight. We win together. We celebrate together. We do it together for the glory of God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, praise Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. I've got something I want to share with you in just a moment. Praise God. I want to share. See, the Lord showed me that some of you have been in a cave. You've been in a cave. You've been in a cave, and I know why. I know why. I know why. We're going to break that in the name of Jesus. And if it's time for you to come out of your cave, you're coming out. If it's time for you to come out of the wilderness, you're coming out. If it's time for you to come out of that desert place, you are coming out today. I'm not taking any excuses. God is not listening to excuses anymore. He wants your obedience, radical obedience. Some of you, it's time to come out of the cave. And I know why you've been there. It's not you. There's been an enemy assignment against you. Amen. We're going to break it. We're going to break it. We're going to break it. I want to give you an opportunity to give, to sow into this ministry. We are moving. We are shaking in Christ. We are going forward, advancing the kingdom rapidly. Awakening Blaze is proliferating rapidly. Get involved. 
Get involved, get involved, get involved. What do you want? Ignite is growing leaps and bounds. We've ignited over 400 voices, prophetic voices, in less than a year. I know many people joined Ignite yesterday. I'm not sure what caused that. Maybe I've been waiting for a while. Praise God. We've got television shows going all over the world. Matter of fact, it was prophesied last night uh, over me that I've got a spirit of innovation and that I'll be, new doors of media will be opening to me. Now, the one that prophesied this did not know that I had resigned from Charisma Magazine. So this was not a, this was almost like a confirmation because the Lord has given me ideas in media to do different things on that mountain. And I'm waiting for the right time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. But if you want to sow into this mega vision, if you want to sow into this ministry, if it's blessing you, if it's helping you, sow. Don't sit there and, 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 and eat, 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 and not ever sow. Amen? You want to keep getting that harvest spiritually? You, you get a greater harvest where you sow. I'm here. I'm praying for you. No, I'm praying for you every day, whether you sow or not. But I want to invite you to enter into a greater realm of blessing. I want to invite you to enter into that next level of blessing I want to invite you to do that I'm giving you an invitation I'm giving you an opportunity many of you are on this broadcast and you've just been sort of scoping it out like is she for real and all of a sudden you get a breakthrough like oh gosh I guess she is for real praise God others of you have been with me for years praying and you know what's up I want to invite you to get involved at a higher level begin to sow partner with the ministry we're going into 2018. I've got a vision bigger than what I can possibly even wrap my mind around. God's given me a vision so, so big. I'm like, my mind is going tilt. But you know what? That's how you know if it's the vision of the Lord. Because God will never call you to do something you can do in your own strength. Did you know that? God doesn't call you to do things you can do in your own strength. You're always going to need to depend on him for people to help, for money to, 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 to do things with, for strength, for grace in your body. Praise God. Praise God. So I want to challenge you today. I want to invite you, challenge you, give you the opportunity, whatever you want to call it, to become a partner. If you can't become a partner, sow what you can sow. Sow something. Today is the day to do it. It's the, new, it's the first day of the rest of your life. It's the first day of the rest of my life. As you know, I was commissioned last night. Chuck Pierce gave me a word that was, uh, it just, Bill, Bishop Hammond gave me a word. Jane Hammond gave me a word. Tom Hammond gave me a word. Others gave me words. But the, the, word, the final word I gave, the, the final word that I got from Chuck, it was a new mantle. He physically gave me a new mantle. Physically, like not just in the spirit, but he gave me a tangible mantle. And prophesied something over me that was, it wasn't long, but my God, I knew it was coming too. I knew that there was some kind of assignment going to come because when Chuck prophesies, you're always going to 12 different nations or doing some kind of wild adventure. Hallelujah. But I want to give you an opportunity. So, because Chuck said that God was going to rally the troops. Chuck said, Chuck prophesied, don't, don't worry about it. You don't have to think about where it's going to come from. Just know that God is going to rally the troops. So I'm inviting you to be part of it. I'm inviting you to be part of it. You can sew at jenniferleclair.org slash donate. jenniferleclair.org slash donate. jenniferleclair.org slash donate. If you can be a partner, become a partner. You know, many of you, you, you just, if money is not designated, what I've learned is I don't carry much cash around. I carry like $20. I try not to carry cash. Well, I actually do have $353 in my backpack. But generally speaking, that's for my passport in case it ever gets lost again, praise God, like happened last time. But, but I don't touch that. I don't touch that. Generally speaking, if you don't have a target for your money, you know what happens to your money? It gets wasted. If you don't know where it's going to go, you're just going to spend it here and there and everywhere. So into the kingdom. Partner, jenniferleclair.org slash donate. Yes, Ignite is rallying the truth, troops. I learned that a long ago. It's the principle of money. If you don't target where your money goes, it's wasted. Praise God. Go to paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire, especially if you're international. That's probably the easiest way right now until I get my new website. Paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. Paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You can do text to give. 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. P-R-A-Y. 754 701 2161, type the word PRAY, P-R-A-Y, P.O. Box, if you're sending a check or a money order, P.O. Box 3953, 
Hallandale Beach, Florida, 33008. You can find that address on my website. If you want to sow into the Mega Payback campaign for the building, you can do that at megapayback.com. We are offering a bundle of free resources because we want to sow back into you if you've sown into us. Megapayback.com. Hello, Prophet Vanessa. I need coffee. Chocolate's nice. Coffee's better. Prophet Vanessa, thank you. All right. She is the best person I know. Praise God. I don't know anybody better than Prophet Vanessa, Pastor Austin, and Pastor Sierra, who have been with me on this trip. We got confronted by a praying mantis, but it was really a leaf bug. In case you didn't see the video, you can go to my Instagram page. Kind of went viral. People apparently wetting their pants because it was so funny. Hallelujah. Yeah, there's no one quite like Prophet Vanessa. Pastor Sierra is kind of like her. Praise God. It's her mini-me. That is her mini-me. Pastor Austin is just as sweet as he can possibly be. Amen. So, so if you can, praise God. I don't know what I need to tell you. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Jesus. The prayer mentoring and intercession. Intercession. Uh, who is texting me at this time of the day? My goodness. Ah, babashte kete roboshte. Mentoring and prayer and intercession. It starts on January the 3rd. Uh, we're going to do this once a month on Tuesdays, unless you are part of the, uh, the, uh, the uh, more intimate mentoring. I'm taking only 12. You can go to the school, schoolofthespirit.tv. It's starting in January, but if you sign up now, you will not be activated. Nothing will happen except that you will get a bunch of free downloads. Go read about it. Go read about it. You need to learn how to pray. Some of y'all want to pray. I want to pray like Jennifer. Well, you can. Maybe not just like me, but in your own way. You can, you can pray a powerful prayer. You can see prayer answers. You can be more effective in your intercession. You can understand the different types of prayer. You know, golfers, they use different clubs for different parts of the green. If you use the wrong kind of prayer for the wrong situation, that's why you're not getting a prayer answer. That's why it's taking so much longer to get the prayer answer. You know, you can you can chop down a you you can probably well I don't think you could chop down a tree with a spoon, but you could you could dig a hole with a spoon, but it's going to take you a whole lot longer than if you just get a shovel. So you got to understand the right tool, the right tool, the right prayer type. For any situation, I'm going to teach you about prayer. I'm going to pray with you. I'm going to answer your questions about prayer. Now, if you're an Ignite member, uh, you are going to get uh, special benefits on that. Okay, so you're going to want to go to schoolofthespirit.tv. And if anybody's emailed the office this week, uh, please don't start getting upset and cussing us out. We've been here uh, with Bishop Hammond Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're all on, we're on the car. We can't keep up with it. So please don't get upset and start casting aspersions. All right, I have to say that. Why do I have to say that? Because that's what people do. If they don't get an answer within five minutes, some people just start cussing you. Amen. So you got to have the right tools, the right keys. And you know what we do? I'm going to teach you how to pray for your enemies too. Because there's such power in praying for those who curse you. It will take you to higher realms of authority in every other area of your prayer life. Schoolofthespirit.tv Schoolofthespirit.tv I urge you to, if you're interested in this, sign up now. Go get those free downloads. I'm, I'm wanting to gauge the interest. You know, when I, re when I reached out, you know, everyone said, oh, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. So go sign up. I'm giving you incentive to sign up early so I can gauge the interest, so I can plan accordingly. And I'm really, the, the, the biggest reason why I'm opening the registration early is because I've got to select the 12. And if I wait until January 3rd to launch the program, I won't have time to vet the 12. And then I want you to start the year off in this, Okay. I want you to start the year off, and I don't want to start it in March, so I've got to, I had to set, set it up now, so that's why we're doing that. So go to schoolofthespirit.tv, amen. Go to schoolofthespirit.tv, prayer and intercession mentoring with me. Praise God, it's going to be good. What else do I have? 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 Do I have? Praise God. I don't know. Ahop.tv on Saturday night, we're going to have the break, uh, Breaking Jezebel Assignments and Alignments Conference. If you want to be part of that, go to ahop.tv. Ahop.tv. I don't know if I told you yesterday, but there is a, uh, I think I might have, there's a free resource. I'm adding a lot of uh, free resources and teachings on the prophetic at schoolofthespirit.tv. Uh, you can go find the first one up there now. Uh, it's just scroll down to the bottom. You'll see it says free resources, and you can listen to a teaching on the prophetic. 
you can you can you can you can listen to a teaching on the prophetic if you want to go see sort of now that's audio most of what I do is video but that's audio so you can go there we're uploading a lot more free stuff there there's tons of free stuff on my website jenniferleclair.org where we're trying to put all the equipping on school the spirit TV amen uh, what else was I going to say oh ignite there were so many people that, that uh, joined Ignite yesterday. Our family is growing by leaps and bounds. What is Ignite? It's a prophetic network. It's a network of prof- Your IRS debt was canceled yesterday. Praise God. Praise God, Karen Ledbetter. Amen. Supernatural Debt Cancellation Service. She was part of that. Listen, if you want to get, watch that Supernatural Debt Cancellation Service, you can still watch that at ahop.tv. Karen Ledbetter is reporting IRS debt cancellation from the debt cancellation service. That's a good word. If you want to watch that service, you can still do that. Go to school. Uh, uh, go to um, Carol. You'll have to follow the instructions on the page, sweetheart. Uh, you just go to the page and follow the instructions. Uh, you're gonna. Uh, if you want to watch that supernatural debt cancellation service, you can go to ahop.tv. Ahop.tv. You can still watch it. It's our, It's not. Well, it's not live. We already recorded it. But you might. If. If. <laughs> praise God. Wow. We had another lady come in. Oh, I mean, we've had so many reports from the supernatural debt cancellation. Uh, somebody else just got like a ten thousand dollar bill canceled, out of nowhere. Uh, and there's others. There's others. So if you didn't get on that, you want to watch it. Go to ahop.tv. You can get an annual pass on ahop.tv and just get on. Get in on every event that we do. Amen. Every event that we do. I want to also tell you this is not an official announcement. This is just an announcement for our uh, followers in the morning. Ahop.online is functioning. If you want to sign up for an account on Ahop.online, you can sign up for that. We're, we're doing a soft launch. It's not a hard launch. It's a soft launch. Uh, but you can go to Ahop.online. Ahop.online. So we see Awakening House of Prayer, Lord, gave me strategies to build this, to reach so many people around the nations that don't have uh, ways to get this kind of content. And so ahop.tv is where we do our sort of conferences. And then ahop.online is our online campus, ahop.online. Now, it's, it's a soft launch. It's, I'm not announcing it to the public, but it is, it is ready. There's a couple things missing. I think there's, the banner section is missing. So designers waiting on me for that. Ahop.online. Go, you can go register now. You go register. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can. You can. Uh, it's going to go into an email list. I'll check, and if it didn't work, then I will tell you tomorrow. Praise God! I've got so many, uh, 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 so many hours of driving ahead of me. I'm not sure if I can check into it today, but I'll have it checked into. Amen. Ahop.tv. Ignite. Listen, I was uh, recommissioned last night for, with Bishop Hammond. Jane Hammond, Tom Hammond, a lot of other men, powerful men and women of God, and Chuck Pierce was there as well, uh, prophesying of me, gave me a new mantle. You know, if you're part of the Ignite Network, this benefits you. I want you to understand, this benefits you. This benefits you. This, this, this actually affects you. Because if you're aligned with me and I'm aligned with them, it's, it's as if they're like your grandpa. You know, it's like they're, they're down, they're up line from you. It affects you. Thank you for the super hearts. It affects you. It affects you. It affects you. How does it affect you? Because the anointing flows down from the head. That's what the Bible says in Psalm 103. The anointing flows down from the head. So the anointing that's on my life, when you are aligned with me, it's almost like when it's, it's exactly like when Moses prayed for the 70. And they received a measure of the spirit that was on Moses. When you're aligned with somebody, for better or worse, you receive a measure of of the spirit that is upon them. In other words, you are a partaker of their anointing. And so you might not have the opportunity to, to stand and be ordained by Bishop Bill Hammond or by you know Chuck Pierce and these others I'm aligned with. You might not have that opportunity uh, based on where you are, where you live, or just the relationship that you've cultivated. But when you're in relationship with me, when you are aligned with my network and you're in my network, you are benefiting from the anointing and the alignments that I have in my life. Amen. I was prophesied over last night, a double portion uh, uh, wisdom, double portion revelation, double portion anointing of uh, some of my Ignite members. I'm going to be sharing these words with you uh, in the Ignite group. So you're going to want to um, you're going to want to uh, get get re- get signed up. If you if they're like, man, I love what you're doing. I love what you're praying. I love what you're doing in the nations. I love your alignments. You know, I need some. I need the, to learn more from you. I need to be equipped. Go sign up, ignitenow.org. 
ignitenow.org. We're celebrating our first anniversary in November, and it's going to be absolutely, uh, it's going to go, it's just going to explode from here because now I've got a new alignment for a new season, and I'm going uh, just to be running harder and faster with more grace and energy than ever before. Amen. So get in on that. Ignitenow.org. Praise God. Now, here's what I want to share with you. The Lord showed me some of you have been in a cave. You've been in a cave. I was in a cave for many years. Not because I wanted to be in the cave, but because somebody put me in a cave. The one that put me in a cave was named Jezebel. The one that put me in a cave was Jezebel. I, 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 want y'all to under, I don't want y'all to misunderstand what I just said. You know, I'm aligned with Chuck and Bishop. You're aligned with me. You're not aligned with them, but you are, uh, you are like downlined from them. I don't want you to go around telling people you're aligned with Chuck Pierce and, and Bishop Hammond. That could cause some troubles uh, for you uh, because you're aligned, if you're aligned with me, you're aligned with me. Okay, But since I'm aligned with them, you are benefiting from my alignment with them. Okay, Does that make sense? I want to be really clear on that because some people will go around saying things and then it'll get back to Chuck and they'll be like, who's that person? And then that's just uh, potentially embarrassing uh, for whoever was that said that. Okay, so I'm just uh, uh, I'm not talking to anybody in specific. I just occurred to me that I don't want anybody to uh, as I was talking about ignite. I didn't want anybody to misunderstand. Uh, I'm aligned with Chuck. I'm aligned with Bishop. Uh, if you're aligned with me, you're benefiting from that alignment. Okay, uh, but I was put in a cave by thank you for the super hearts. Amen. I. Uh, I uh, I was uh, uh, um, put in a cave by Jezebel. Amen. I was put in a cave uh, by Charlene. I wasn't talking to you, dear. Uh, I was just saying it just in general. All right. Uh, listen, I was put in a cave by Jezebel. I was put in a cave by Jezebel because when 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 I was under a pastor one time, it was actually an apostle, and and I had a gift and I served his ministry for eight years. I edited all his books. I I, uh, I produced his television show. Uh, I, I I did documentaries on the mission field, and and I I served his vision very well. And I'm glad that I did. I'm I'm grateful for the opportunity uh, to have learned so much. Uh, but what happened was when my voice began to rise, he began to put me in a cave. When my voice began to to carry its own weight when I began to get endorsements from Bishop Hammond and and uh, and Ernest Gentile and and all of these other fathers in the prophetic when they began to recognize me uh, this one that I was uh, uh, working with began to get have a jealous Saul spirit uh, I, and, and here's the thing about spirits as they work together you sometimes someone will manifest it's like that's that's a Saul spirit is that a Jezebel spirit is that a religious spirit is that a Python spirit oh my goodness what is that you know why because these spirits influence people and and they can be influ- if one they open once people open themselves up to spirit to demonic influence you don't ever know what they're going to manifest okay because Jezebel you can't cast Jezebel out of a person it's a it's something that works on minds okay it's a thought system it's a principality you can't cast a principality out of a person it's not a it's not your garden variety demon you can't cast a principality out of a person so I was in a cave he put me in a cave shut my voice down I was editor of a, of a magazine uh, there, not, the, not Charisma, this was many years ago, shut my voice down, shut my platform ministry down, shut down everything I had, and basically put me in a cave. And I had to realize that essentially what was happening was there was a Jezebel assignment that was allowed to work in my life through a Jezebel alignment. There was a Jezebel assignment that was allowed to work in my life because of a Jezebel alignment. i got to write something down. Dear God, I just got a revelation. Wow. Okay, there was a Jezebel assignment that was manifesting in my life against me because of a Jezebelic alignment. And see, many times we don't realize that. We're fighting devils, fighting devils, fighting devils, fighting Jezebel, fighting Jezebel, fighting Jezebel, fighting Jezebel. We don't realize that we've actually got an alignment that's empowering it, and we're never going to get rid of that assignment until we break the alignment. So that's what I want to talk to you about on Saturday night. But I'm going to pray for you now because I, don't want, I know that not everybody can, can come to the thing on Saturday night, and I'm not trying to, to torture you or tease you by sharing that and then not praying for you. But I just want you to understand, you've got to ask the Lord. Now, here's the problem. Sometimes you don't recognize the, the alignment. Sometimes you don't recognize the, 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 who the Spirit's operating. You've got to get equipped. You've got to get trained. I've written a lot of books on this, done a lot of teaching on it, doing a teaching on Saturday night. But I want to pray for you right now that God will help you to discern those alignments and to break them because I can't break them for you, okay? You've got to break them yourself. You've got to break them yourself. 
You've got to break them yourself. This last night, this uh, recommissioning last night was something that should have happened many years ago, but because that Jezebel spirit put me in a cave and tried to mute my voice, it was delayed. But how many of you know that there can be a demonic delay, but there's a, del uh, there's a divine repay? Okay? Amen? So let me pray for you. Father, I thank you for your anointing. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. God, help us to discern if there be any Jezebelic alignment in our lives that is, that is causing Jezebel assignments. Would you help us, God, to be quick to discern, not to go on a witch hunt, not to go on a witch hunt, not to go on a witch hunt, not to go on a witch hunt. We're not going to go pointing fingers at everybody saying they're Jezebels. But Lord, help us to discern and understand and know by your spirit if there is a demonic alignment in our life of any kind that we might slam the door on it, that we might cut ties with it. In Jesus' name, give us that discernment, God, greater, greater, greater in the name of of the Lord. Amen. Amen. For those of you who have, I know a lot of you have signed up for the Jezebel event on, uh, to watch it live stream on AHOP TV. If you've done that, come with questions, write your questions down because I'm going to be doing a Q and a on the spirit of Jezebel. Why? Because teaching is good, but there are certain times where it's like you, how do you apply that teaching in my situation? What do I do? Is this, you know, can you help me? Can you help me, you know, determine is this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that, this, the other. Amen. So be that one uh, who has questions ready because I'm going to answer questions. I'll answer questions until there's no more questions or until my voice gives out. All right. Until there's no more questions or until my voice gives out. Praise God. So come with questions on Saturday night, 7 o'clock, ahop.tv. I will be with Apostle Ken Malone at the East Coast Surge tomorrow night in Satellite Beach. Also Saturday morning. And then I'll be at the School of Spiritual Warfare Saturday afternoon, 2 o'clock. If you haven't signed up for the School of Spiritual Warfare, you can do that. School of Spiritual Warfare. It's uh, warfareschool.com, or you can just go to schoolofthespirit.tv. And then Saturday night is the Jezebel event. That is the main event, praise God. So get involved with that if you want to. Get involved with what blesses you, amen? Get involved with what blesses you. Listen, I got to go because I must get some cafe. Because chocolate is good when you don't have coffee. You know what's better? Chocolate with coffee. So let's go back into worship. And I will be back with you tomorrow morning. And don't I sound good for someone who slept three hours? Somebody say amen and amen. Praise God. I'll be back with you either later today on a periscope. I'm going to be driving. If I get a good signal, I'll jump back on periscope and do a little prophetic uh, prayer pop-up and pray for you individually uh, over periscope, all right? If I can get a good connection. Our problem on the way up was no connection. Amen. All right. Let me charge my devices. I will be back with you later. I sound good all the time. Thank you. I like that better than people telling me I sound tired. Hallelujah. Amen.
and how